Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So I am your host Faraz and in this video we are discussing the solution to the assignment that we uploaded in our interview preparation series. So the assignment was based on binary search. I gave 5 questions on binary search. So before watching the solution, just try go to that video in which we uploaded the assignment. It is just the previous video. Just go and try solving all those questions by yourself and if you get stuck you can continue watching the video. Alright, so let us first discuss the problem statement. So in this problem we are given we are given an array and that array is called a mountain if these conditions hold. So first condition is the size should at least be 3. The next condition is uh, let us say i is an index between 0 and length of the array minus 1. So i is an index. Now all the elements before i should be sorted in increasing order till i and all the elements after i should be sorted in decreasing order. So this is a mountain. Now it is guaranteed that the array which is given to us is a mountain and we have to return the peak of that mountain. Okay. So peak is the uh, largest element. Let me just represent this pictorially. Here we have this mountain like this and this is the peak of the mountain. Now these are elements 0th index, 1st index, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, let's say 5th index is the peak then 6, 7, 8 and 9. So all the elements, the elements that is uh, that is at the index 0 and which is at the index 1, these all will be sorted in increasing order. So let me just give an example as well here. So let us say 6, 7, 11, 15, 20, 25 and after 25 it will start decreasing 19, 17, 8, 0 like this. So all the elements are increasing order first then they are in decreasing order. So we have to return the peak, this peak. So in the first method we are going to return the index of the largest element. So for that we keep the largest element. So m represents my largest element so far. My largest element so far is going to be initialized with the minimum value the int min. Now I will go to each element one by one from i is equal to 0, i is smaller than array dot size i++ plus plus. so I'm going to each of the indices and I will compare if array of i if this element the current element is it greater than the maximum element so far so m is the maximum element so far if it is the case then my answer is i so my answer could be i if in future I will find some other element to be largest that will be my answer but as of now I can consider my answer as i now array of i is greater than the largest element so far so the largest element will now become array of i. So at the end I will have the largest element stored as m and I can see out that this is the largest element while i will be the index of the largest element so I have to return the index return answer so the um, answer is going to be the index I will have to make an answer here answer is equal to 0 or maybe minus 1. I can initialize answer with any value. So I will just return it and I will see if I am getting correct answer. So it got accepted. Let me just try to run this so that I can show you the C out the value of m. So in this case the largest value is 1 which is at the index 1. It might be confusing so let me just take some other example here. 5 no, 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 I will have to do it in increasing order, right? So this is my uh, mountain array and then it should be in decreasing order, right? To 1. Okay. So my m should be equal to 5. My m is 5 and my index, the index of m is 3. That is why I am returning 3 in this case. So this is um, a linear search where I am searching the largest element. So also this could be done very easily using standard template libraries of uh, C++. So let us discuss that as well. So you can simply find the maximum element. As you are finding the maximum element in the uh, array, in the vector. So we can simply find the maximum element using this function, max element. Okay. So let me show you how do we use that. So the syntax is something like this, max element and we pass two pointers here. The first pointer is going to be point to the first location. So that is arr.begin. arr.begin gives us the iterator pointing to the beginning of the array or beginning of the uh, vector. Okay. And array.end. It returns the pointer pointing to the end of the array. Now this is going to give me the pointer. This function max element it is going to return me the pointer pointing to the largest element. So I will have to store it 
so let me name it as answer only okay this is the pointer pointing to the um, maximum element of the array so I can return this answer okay so why I cannot return this so as I can see I have to return an integer value and the answer that I got here is an iterator so this is an iterator pointing to the maximum element this is not an index right so how can I convert it into index alright so let me just tell you what this is so let me say the given array is this 2 5 7 9 and then 2 1 0 so this is the largest element so it is going to give me the pointer pointing to this element it could be a memory location right it, it will be in the form of some memory and I know the beginning element it, the ARR dot begin is going to give me pointer at this location also it will give me some memory location so what I can do is as this is allocated in a contiguous form so I can just reduce the uh, value my answer the, which is pointing here and my array dot begin which is pointing to the beginning I can just subtract this from answer array dot begin and I will get the um, I will get the distance right so I can just return that distance that will be the index I hope it is clear so if I want it in integer form int answer is equal to the this thing minus arr dot begin okay so this should give me correct answer it is supposed to give me the index right and yes we are getting accepted so I think I can just return this as well I'll return this value so it's just one line code using STLs I hope this thing is clear right so maximum this function in which we are passing two arguments the first argument is uh, the pointer which is pointing at this location the beginning this one and the second pointer the array dot end ARR dot end it, it gives me the pointer pointing to the end not this element but right after this element right this is the end this is not the end this is array dot end which is uh, next to this so the function max element it is going to iterate all over these elements still here and it will find the iterator pointing to the maximum element so it is going to return me the memory location of 9 so I have the memory location of 9 I have the memory location of 2 I can just reduce I can find the difference and I will be able to find the index okay so what do you think the time complexity of the solution is so just let me uh, know the time complexity of the solution in the comments you can read about the function max element from here you can read about everything you can look at the examples you will be able to see the complexity here as well so what is the uh, complexity of this solution let me know in the comments now let us move on to a better approach okay now we will try to do a better approach here what we were doing we were searching the maximum element so we were doing a linear search now we are moving forward to do this solution using a binary search so as we know that this is the mountain the all the elements which are below this point are in increasing order so these are the indices in this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so these are the indices so index seven is the peak in this example and all the elements from here they are in increasing order and all the elements after seven are in decreasing order okay so what I uh, so instead of doing a linear search instead of going to each element one by one and uh, looking that if they are the maximum element we can apply the binary search as the data which is given to us is in sorted order so I will just try to find out the middle element using binary search as we usually do so at the same time I will keep coding so that it is more clear so for binary search as you have already seen in the previous videos we take two pointers the starting pointer which will point to zero the first element of the array and the end pointer which is which will point to arr dot size minus one the last element of arr now I'll run a while loop while start is smaller than equal to end okay and then I usually find m which is the middle element this is equal to start plus end minus start divided by two or simply start plus end divided by two so we can either write it this or we can write it at, as uh, start plus and divided by 2 sometimes this thing it gives us the integer limit exceeded and this thing th it handles all those cases right so it is better to use uh, this one start plus and minus start divided by 2 if you calculate mathematically these both things are same so now 
I will compare the middle element okay so I will compare ARR of middle element with ARR of M plus 1 the next element so in this example this is S this is E so S plus E divided by 2 is equal to 11 divided by 2 which is equal to 5 so this is my middle element let me mark the middle element with this pink color so this is the middle element here I will compare it with the element which is next to this M plus 1 so this is what I'm going to do okay so I will see so I will see if the uh, value at the middle element if it is greater than the value at the middle plus 1 element so ARR of mid is, is it greater than ARR of mid plus 1 if this is the case so it might be possible that ARR of M is the largest element it might be possible okay so if this is M this is M plus 1 then our answer is this one M is the answer but it could also be the case that we are at somewhere here so if this is the M this is the M plus 1 so in this case M is not the answer so we need to go backward okay so we need to go backward and, and how do we go backward in a binary search we go backward by changing the end pointer we go to the left side by changing the end pointer so where should we come so in the previous example we have seen that we do end is equal to mid minus 1 and start is equal to mid plus 1 to shift to right or left but in this case we will do end is equal to m why m because we don't want to miss the answer it might be possible that m is our answer as well and we don't want to miss that that is why we will not cross m we will only come to m so end is equal to m right so let me just do this so array of mid if it is greater than the next element then in that case answer could be equal to m and if it is not m then end will be equal to m okay and then not m minus 1 because we don't want to miss the answer in this in if if it's the case that m is the answer we don't want to miss that also we are taking the element which is next to m that is m plus 1 and so we will change this condition to start is, is smaller than end because we are taking we are considering two elements so we need at least two element to be there right so if we put this condition then at least two elements will be there from s to end from s to e otherwise if i do this condition start smaller than equal to e then only one element will be there so i will put this condition because i want two elements otherwise otherwise what uh, should be the case in the next case array of m this is smaller than array of m plus one right so again two possibilities could be there so it might be possible that m plus 1 is the largest element so this is m plus 1 it might be possible that m plus 1 is actually the largest element so in that case our answer will be equal to m plus 1 okay otherwise it might be possible that we are somewhere here so this is m and this is m plus 1 so we need to shift to the right side so for that we will make s is equal to now here I want you guys to pay attention we will do s is equal to m plus 1 why why not m because last time we did end is equal to m right because we didn't we don't want to miss the answer but in this case the answer is m plus 1 and not m the chances are only that m plus 1 could be the answer anyway m is not the answer right because it is not the largest m is smaller than m plus 1 so m plus 1 could be the answer so that is why we will make s is equal to m plus 1 and not m okay I don't want to uh, skip my answer or I don't want to cross over my answer and here it's correct to do s is equal to m plus 1 because m plus 1 the possibility is that m plus 1 could be the answer and not m so here I will do answer is equal to m plus 1 this could be the answer otherwise s is equal to m plus 1 and finally here I can return the answer and for that I will have to create the answer also answer is equal to minus 1 uh, let me try to submit this now this is a binary search solution and that is why the time complexity of this solution is going to be big O of log n so the time complexity is big O of log n and we are not using any extra space here so the space complexity is constant so this is it for the solution if you like the video make sure to leave your likes and leave your comments and 
keep following the playlist i am going to include a lot and lot of lectures into the playlist and i will try to add the latest variety of questions into this playlist so hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications to the latest videos thank you